Hey there, today I'm going to be talking about something new or at least new to the channel as this is my first video talking about Unmatched and hopefully getting you onto this hype train by answering these three questions. What is Unmatched? Why do I love it? And why you should try it? My name is Nate and welcome to the Gamers Guild. So for a really long time now, I've been wanting to cover something in addition to Marvel Crisis Protocol. And that has resulted in a few videos about hype for Elder Scrolls the Miniatures game, the My Hero Academia card game, to even the possibility of doing something with Warhammer 40k. And for one reason or another, none of those have come to fruition. So now I'm at the point where I still want to grow this channel into other games, but I'm also finding myself with less and less time because I'm quite happily the dad of an adorable five month old. So I have decided to start covering an amazing skirmish board game that I picked up at Gen Con 2019 called Unmatch. So what is Unmatched? It is a game designed by Rob Davio and Justin Jacobson published by Mondo Games and Restoration Games, or any number of other publishers, depending on where you are in the world. The idea of the game is to take characters from myth and legend, and the occasional licensed property, to pit them in a death battle. So Robin Hood vs. Bigfoot, Medusa vs. King Arthur, Sherlock Holmes vs. Dracula, and all of these matchups can be moved and swapped around. So how about the Jurassic Park Velociraptors taking on Beowulf? So at this point, if you are still listening, I'm guessing you are sold on the premise, but may be asking how can Bruce Lee punch the Invisible Man? Each character has a pre-made deck of cards that are unique to them and their sidekicks, if they have any at all. This deck is made up of attacks, defenses, dual cards that can do either, and scheme cards that usually let your fighter do something big and thematic to impact the game state. Each fighter has a predetermined amount of health, and the last one standing wins. Now, I'm not about to go through a full tutorial on how to play the game, because even if I had done one, I would still recommend watching Rodney's Overmind anyways. So I'll have a link in the description to Watch It Played's video demoing the game for a full breakdown on how to play. So now that you know what it is, here is why I love it. First is a bit of nostalgia because one of my favorite board games some 15 years ago was Star Wars Epic Duels, which Rob also worked on and this game has some very similar mechanics. But that alone wouldn't be enough for me to keep coming back to this game to play it over and over. So the second thing I love about it is how simple and smooth the system is. It makes it very easy to teach and more importantly you can get quick 30 minute games in if not faster. But that doesn't mean that there isn't complexity in the game strategy. Bluffing your opponent with a small attack to pull out a bigger defense card to then play something that hits harder, making sure you are well positioned on one of the completely unique nine different maps. Not to mention if you really want to step it up by doing some studying and getting a general idea of what cards you can expect from your opponent's deck. And again, because each character has a uniquely curated deck and some sort of unique power that is always active, the replayability of the game is extremely high. So if you are still here and need to know why you should try it out for yourselves, well, the fact that you are still here leans itself towards you wanting to play it, but if you must be convinced, here are my last few tidbits. The game's art is downright beautiful, and each character has a deck full of different arts for the different cards in their deck and any two pack or more characters can be played as a standalone game. So you don't have to start at any one particular point. If you want to just dip a toe into the water before making a bigger investment, you can go get the Robin Hood vs. Bigfoot pack, or Little Red Riding Hood vs. Beowulf, or even the Velociraptors vs. Jurassic Park security team led by Muldoon. As well, even though the game is very asymmetric with how each character functions and plays, it's also extremely well balanced. Sure, like any other asymmetric game that isn't chess or checkers, there will always be a few characters that stand out as being better or ones that don't perform quite as well, but at the beer and pretzels level of play, anyone can take on anyone. And my final reason that this has me excited and why it is probably worth trying the game out is what is in the pipeline. Battle of Legends 2 is on the horizon with Achilles, Bloody Mary, Sun Wukong, maybe better known as the Monkey King, and Yeniga, which are all really cool, 
but more importantly for me is the lineup of Marvel expansions coming. They're coming out with three trio packs of Marvel characters that will also int be introducing a three-player game mode with each box to help round out the 1v1 and 2v2 game modes that already exist. Those packs consist of Black Widow, Black Panther, and the Winter Soldier, Daredevil, Bullseye, and Elektra, and finally, Ghost Rider, Blade, and Moon Knight. As well, there is also a solo pack for Deadpool that looks to have plenty of goofy interactions, and again, amazing card art. So if you're looking for a game that gives you a good skirmish feel, but only takes 30 minutes to play, including the setup time, I really recommend putting this on your radar. And if you still aren't sure, keep an eye on the Gamers Guild on Tuesdays going forward for some game gameplay. And that is everything I have for today. I want to say thank you to all the members of the Guild Hall who are supporting what I am doing with the channel. This is one of the new things that I'm able to do because of your support and encouragement. If you are interested in supporting the channel, check out the links down in the description for the Guild's Patreon page, or we can go to Tritex Games page to use the discount code to let them know I sent you their way. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, keep on gaming.